Everyone, Ryan and Nikki here. We just wanted to express a big thank you to everyone that came out to our booth at the AMA Vintage Motorcycle Day show. Yep. We think it was a huge blast. It was a very big success for us as a company. And we hope that each and every one of you that came to our booth had a great time. I know we played cornhole against a few of you guys and I, <laughs> I know we lost a few times, but it was actually a great time. It was a good time. Uh, well, we had what, 30,000 people probably on Friday and 50,000 on Saturday. Yeah. And then everybody was mostly packing up to leave on Sunday. So, but it was a huge event. Like people were waiting for us to be there. It was, a, it was just so nice to see people coming through, looking at the process, wanting to see and understanding how it can work and, and save them time and money. Is there like any like moments that happen, like customers or events that happen there? I took pictures of the jet ski with wheels. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. I didn't get a picture of the boat with wheels or the Amish buggy with wheels. It was so cool, the creativity that people had to create this, this like motorcycle type or engine driven. So that wall of death thing was probably one of the coolest things I've ever seen. It was. I was shocked they could grab money out of your hand. Like, That's what I'm, I'm talking thinking, about. All I can see is a motorcycle shooting up over the top and killing people. Like I'm thinking, this is not cool. The hobo bill guy was sitting side saddle on yeah. the wall. Yeah. like taking money from people yeah that I was just, insane it was crazy they were very talented very talented and the fact that you do donations for the motorcyclists that might have you know have an accident or right. it helps them with their that stuff was pretty cool too we had a kid that came up and just kind of pushed in front of me so he could see and the kid he was with is like no you can't get in front of them and i was like it's okay no problem he said i'm sorry it's my cousin he doesn't know what he's doing and so he's just he was young probably about five six years at first i thought you were like throwing shade at me for a second i'm used to what? the time you say a little kid it's talking about me well i mean if fit she fits i mean you know i tried to give spencer a dollar and he wouldn't take it he wouldn't give it he wouldn't no. give it to him no well that's i wanted cool. to do it he said if i helped take it down i could do it but that was at the next location and i don't know where that was well that'll be barber Hope so. So you I'll go and see him and say, hey, I saw you AMA. Can I give you, yeah, can I do this now? If I do it, it'll definitely be on the YouTube channel. That's right. We need to get some video. And the food was amazing. You, you love that barbecue. That barbecue was fabulous. She the raved smoked about macaroni it. and cheese. For literally. Tony DeLong, I think was his days. name. Tony was the owner of the barbecue booth. And it was, all, we ate it for two days. Like we had it for lunch one day and we had it for lunch the second day. My hot dog was awesome. better. No, uh, it's not cool. It's not better. It can't be. Not, I don't believe it. That was after my very exciting ride with Todd <laughs> that we went to the... Uh, you were supposed to calm Todd down from leaving him at the booth by himself. He was fine. But you didn't. You ramped him up by driving crazy and making him think he was going to die. No, he just said his kidney was in his throat. That was the only problem. <laughs> Remember on the last day when he was like, I think the only thing I can do is get up to go to the bathroom. But he was so tired. So tired. <laughs> So I can't wait till the next one. Me either. All right, so Barber it is. Can't wait to we'll see y'all at Barber. It was really great to see a lot of you interact with our machines for the first time. I know a lot of you brought parts um, and some of you actually chose from the selection that we had. We went around and gathered up parts from the actual people, Swap the, me. the vendors that were, yeah. that were selling parts just to give you guys an experience of um, exactly what those parts could look like cleaned up. So again, if you guys want to come test out our machines, make sure you come to Barber, bring your parts or just buy some there. We had a lot of people do that. Um, and also, if you aren't gonna be at any of the trade shows, send your parts in. We have free application testing, so if you wanna see how it looks on your part, make sure to send it in, whether you're a big company looking to see how it looks on, on your parts, or if you're someone who just does this as a hobby. Send those parts in, we'll get them cleaned up for you guys. Another reminder about Barber, we're gonna have probably some drawings that you can win some things. Um, Come see us, talk to us. Let's see what kind of parts you're doing. Give us some information. We love to meet you guys and talk to you about what you're doing and how we can change what's going on. So if you have any questions, you need us beforehand, give us a call, 828-220-4967. Thanks so much.